This section is a contemplation of the mystery and deep connection among the electric field, the magnetic field, and relativity. Electricity, relativity, and magnetism all connected intimately. Now we saw this in an earlier video when we derived the magnetic force from electric force concepts in special relativity. And when we were doing that for a charge moving parallel to a wire carrying current, we derived a sideways force. And that sideways force came about with this group of constants that was relevant for this new force that we found. And we defined it in this fashion. And this represents the constant for the magnetic force. So here you have one constant from each of the areas. Epsilon sub naught from electricity, mu naught from magnetism, and C from relativity. Let's bring the C squared over and bring that constant of magnetism to the denominator. And take the square root, solving for the speed of light. Now this equation was arrived at by Maxwell, who put the finishing touches on electromagnetic theory around 1865. And when he put in numbers for these electric constants, he found something that suggests it's the speed of light. Now they didn't know the speed of light as precisely as they did a little later in that century with Michelson's measurement, but they knew it enough that it suggested that this could be light. In other words, what he did is a calculation that we're going to do and that is to solve the Maxwell equations the elegant form of the equations of electricity and magnetism solve them in free space and show that the electric and magnetic fields satisfy the wave equation and in the slot where you have the speed for the waves you find this configuration of constants with this square root. Now think of special relativity Einstein's first postulate states that the laws of physics should be the same in all inertial frames of reference. Well, that means that the universal uh, constants in physics, like the electric constant, the magnetic constant, these should be the same. The laws of physics are the same. These constants should be the same. But now you see that these constants are showing you there's another constant. Well, that's the speed of light. Could it be that the speed of light is on the pedestal, of, on the, nat the level of constants like the permittivity of space or the permeability of space? Well, then that would be the same in all inertial frames of reference. Well, that's Einstein's second postulate. He boldly postulated that, that the speed of light is constant from all frames of reference that move at constant velocity. And from that is born relativity. But this is suggesting this intimate connection and that the laws of electricity and magnetism are in agreement with relativity. They give us the secret of relativity, suggesting here in this equation that light is a constant on the same footing as these other constants. Well, let's plug in those constants with current day numbers. And if we do that, we get this value for the speed of light. Now, it's interesting that the speed of light is taken to be exactly this because this is so consistent with what the meter was in the old days where they had some meter reference in Paris, some museum or some special you know, Bureau of Standards place as the reference. It's so close to this that now they say, let's define the meter from the speed of light. In other words, speed of light is exactly this. You put a decimal point after that eight and it's all zeros to the right. And the speed of light here, which we get from these constants here in agreement with the measured value of the speed of light, this accurate, this is now the definition for the meter. So the meter is the distance light travels in a split second. That is cool.
So we represent this mystery with the impossible triangle here. We have special relativity. We have electric force physics and magnetic force physics, and these two constants, and they're related. Well, we can look at this relationship here as optics for light, electricity for the electric force constant, and magnetism for the magnetic force constant. And electricity and magnetism give birth to optics. And electricity and magnetism, in the form of the elegant equations, which we now call electromagnetic theory, is in agreement with special relativity. The equations are relativistically correct. So this course is so powerful as it interacts with other courses that you might be taking. Optics and special relativity. And finally, it's also the first physics that was worked out in the realm of the microscopic and the fast in the form of quantum electrodynamics, abbreviated QED. And this is the work of Feynman, Schwinger, and Tomonaga, for which they won the Nobel Prize in 1965 for their independent approaches to this, which are shown later to be equivalent. QED. What a wonderful topic, electromagnetic theory, and we will be investigating more and more of these things in this course.